not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Hello. Yeah, hello. To who I'm speaking with? This is Burton Ernie. Burton Ernie, hold the line just a moment, Mr. Burton, okay. so I can get your goods pulled up here. All right? Okay. Thank you. Hold on the line, sir. Okay. Okay, and can you spell your name? You full spelling after your name? My first name is B E R T A N, Burton. Last name B-E-R- Ernie. B E R T A N. Y A N, okay. Yes. And your last name? Ernie, E R N I E, Burton Ernie. Burton Ernie, okay. Hold the line, Mr. Ernie, all right? Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, Mr. Burton? Yes. Yeah, hold on, sir. I'm getting your records pulled it up now, all right? Okay. How long is this going to take, sir? Yeah, okay. It's not going to take too long. I'm getting your hacks pulled up. The computer is moving a little bit slow, oh, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Everton? Yes. Yeah, you're currently in New York, right? Moravia, New York, yes. Moravian, Moravian. Okay, how do you spell your Moravian? M-O-R-A-V-I-A. Okay, and it's Burton, B-E-R-T-A-N, right. Ernie, E-R-N-I-E, right? Right, Burton Ernie. So, Burton Ernie, that is the name we have here, all right? Oh, okay. Okay, sir. All right, what we see here and your record, we have see there that you're supposed to be receiving a certified check that has been registered in your name. A what? Did you... A what in my name? I, I didn't hear you. Okay, I'm stating that we see here and your record when we get when you get your record pulled up, we see here that you're supposed to be receiving a certified check that that has been registered in your name. A certified check for what? I yeah, a certified understand. that is a certified cashier's check that has been registered in your name from our company and it's scheduled to be delivered over by your local resident today. Hold the line one more second. Okay. Mr. Burton? Yes. Yeah, thank you for holding, Mr. Burton. And I'm so okay. sorry for holding you so long on the line, all right? Okay. My bad. I'm so sorry. Right, sir. As I was stating before, I'm stating that we have received a certified check that has been registered in your name, that is Burton Ernie, and it's scheduled to be delivered over to you today. For what? Did I you receive... Why, why, why am I getting a check? I don't know. Okay, sir. All right. We see here that you were supposed to be, you, you were, um, you shop at your favorite ghost store, such as a Walmart, a Walgreens, a CVS pharmacy, a Rite Aid, and we see here that you pay your utility bills on time. Yeah. So that is the reason why, right, sir, that is the reason why a check has been registered in your name. All right, written out in your name, and it's scheduled to be delivered over to you by your local resident today. Okay. And I'm stating that, right, sir, did you receive a notification letter in the mail a couple weeks ago in regards of a check that you're supposed to be receiving? Jeez, I don't think so. I don't know. I, I don't remember it, if I did. Oh, so you don't uh, remember? I don't remember oh, okay. stuff. I'm 71. Okay. I forget what comes in the mail you're and what 70, doesn't. Okay, you're 71. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ernie. And you sound like a nice gentleman. You sound like a wonderful person. Yes, thank you. It seems like, right, sir. You see, it's like you do a lot of good things in life, and God has been blessed you with this opportunity to let you receive what is rightfully yours. Oh, that's and do good. You, right, sir. And do you marry single widow or divorce? Pardon? Oh, I'm married. My wife is is still with us. Oh, your wife is still with us. Okay, that is wonderful. Yes, yes, I'm she's right. a wonderful what I need lady. I, oh, okay, I, I, her wonderful birthday lady. was last week, in fact. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Can you get yourself a clean sheet of paper and a pen so I can provide you with some information that you will be needed so you can receive your check at your local resident as soon as possible. Okay, let me find a piece of paper. Okay, take your time. I'm on the line. Okay, go ahead. I found one right here. Okay, first you're going to write down my name. Do you remember my name? No. Okay, my name is David Washington. Got it. Okay, you will be also writing down my badge number. Badge number? 
Well, my badge how come number. you got a badge number, I wonder? Pardon? Badge number for what? Right, my badge number to locate me. So when you want to get to me, you um, that is my name. My badge number is, 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 is attached to my name. Oh, okay. What's that, your badge number? Yeah, okay, that is 80541. Okay. 805, my badge number is 80541. I got that, okay. Okay, next you're going to write down your confirmation numbers. Your confirmation number, that is 0101-595-777-USA. 777-USA. That's correct, sir. Okay. So repeat back, the, repeat back the information that you have there. What information? That I just provided oh, to you. Oh, David Washington, 80541, and then my <clears throat> confirmation number is 01019557777, USA. No, that is not correct. Repeat it back to make sure it is correct. It is 0101. Yes, 955777. No, no. Oh, it's no. Five it's five nine five five nine five five seven 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 USA. Okay, now I got it then. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay. Hold the line just a moment. I'm gonna provide you I'm gonna provide you with the winning confirmation. I'm gonna provide you with the winning confirmation number that you're supposed win? to be no, um, I'm I'm so sorry. Not winning, sir. Not winning. I supposed to be stating. Oh. I'm stating that I'm going to provide you with the confirmation number. That is the claim department number that you're going to be calling oh, so you can ask your package. Too many numbers. In. Okay. No, it's a phone number. Oh. All right, it's a phone number for the general board. It's for general, the general board department that you're supposed to be board calling. Department. Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up that number so okay. you can give them yeah, a call. Yeah, give them a call. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Mr. Burton? Yes. Yeah, the, the number you're supposed to be calling is 504. 504. Okay. 676-9098. Right, repeat back the number. 504-676-9098. Right, nine zero nine eight. His name it's Peter Scott. Right, then his name is the general manager, Peter Scott. What's he gonna tell me? Yeah, okay. He's gonna let you know. Um, or you're gonna be receiving your check today. You already okay. told me that. You told me that. Right. He's gonna let you know what you're gonna be um going to have your package been claimed, and you're gonna um you're gonna notify to you all you cup all you become to be um receiving that check. All right. Okay, well, I don't know how, what I'm going to do with this check. Right. It's a, he's a nice person. He's the general oh, manager. He's, he's okay. Gonna, okay. He's going to let you know what's going to be going on okay. so you can receive what is rightfully yours, okay? What, okay, so I call him now, you think? Right. You call that number right now. Okay. His name is Peter Scott. Thank you, David. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Hello? Yes, hello. Is Peter Scott there? Yes, you're speaking with the general manager. Who am I speaking with? Burton Ernie. B E R T A N E R N I E is my last name. Okay, let me pull up your record. Okay. And thanks for calling. Yes, How are David, you doing this morning? Good. David Washington told me to call you. I don't understand why I'm getting this check, but I could sure use it. <laughs> yes, of course. Now, Mr. Washington, he's a special agent on board. You're speaking with the general manager. Your call has been transferred over to the main office where we now speak with Mr. Scott. Right. All calls are recorded for quality and insurance purpose to protect you, the winner, and to protect us, the agency. Okay. I will now be the one that will be following up with you so I can walk you through the process of receiving your package. Okay. So you can receive it as soon as possible, which will be today, all right? Yes, I don't know why I'm getting it, but I'm happy. I don't know. Right. said something now, about going, going my... to the grocery store and paying my <laughs> bill on time. I don't know. I don't quite understand, but I'm, I don't know. Okay. No righty. 
Now at this moment, I will walk you through the full process and I'll explain to you how you have wandered, where you have wandered from, right, and all right, necessary right. information. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir, I will. Now what I'm going to be doing at this moment, I'm going to place you on a brief hold for a minute or two uh -huh. so I can pull up your record. If we got disconnected, you try to call me back, or I'll try to call you back immediately, all right? Okay. All right, let me place you on a brief hold. Okay. All right. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay. Okay. All right. And now I just pull up your record, and it shows that. Can you hear me? Yes. All righty, wonderful. I just pull up your record, okay. and it shows that there's a certified cashier's check that is supposed to be released to you in That's... the amount of. Yes, thirty-five hundred. You said that is correct. Okay. Yes, and it's supposed to be delivered to you today. Okay. You can you can you repeat what you just said to me? What did I say? Um, you stated that how much did they explain to you? Oh, thirty-five hundred. No, it is not thirty-five hundred. Uh uh. It is eighty-five thousand dollars. Eighty-five thousand. Yeah, showing on the record is eighty-five thousand. Eighty-five thousand dollars for what? I don't know why I'm getting correct. this. Why am I getting this <laughs> check? Now, how you have won this check is the senior citizen benefit cash awards. Oh. How you have been entered is either signing up coupons or doing donation to a charity owns their schools for two dollars and up. That's how you have been entered. Oh. You have been raffled at one hundred and twenty individuals. Mm. You actually won a seven place package. All right? Okay. All righty, wonderful. $85,000, sir. And I have to say congratulations Thank to you. you and welcome on board. Oh, and how are you boy. feeling to know that you have luckily won yourself oh, $85,000 from heart's, the senior my, citizen? My heart's <laughs> pumping because I am a senior. I'm 71 years of age. My heart's <laughs> going crazy here. <laughs> and once you are over the age of 65, you know you're classified as a senior citizen, right? Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Now, as okay. I stated to you before, you're speaking with the general manager at the main department. Yes. I will be the one walking you through the full procession. Okay, so you can Peter. receive your package as soon as possible, which is today. Okay. That is correct. Okay, Peter, All right. go ahead. So the first thing you'll be doing is you'll be getting a clean sheet of paper and a pen. So I already got that. provide you with some money details. David told me to have one ready. I got that. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Okay, good. Now, the go first ahead. thing you'll be writing down is my name. So Peter you know who Scott. you're speaking with. I already wrote Wonderful. it down, Peter Scott. Main office number, 504-676-9098. Yes, I have that. Badge number, Oh, you got a badge number, too? Okay. That is correct, sir. What's your badge number? 3301. 3301. How come you have a badge number? What's Pardon? that mean? How come, why would you, I don't know what a badge number is for. Uh, <laughs> All righty. We're speaking with the general manager, Mr. Peter Scott, at the federal office. The federal, the federal office. office. That is the Federal Trade Commission. We oh, are fully federal. responsible. Oh, yes, sir. To, see, he never said it was, this was the Federal Trade Commission. That is correct. Right. Okay. You're speaking now with the Federal Trade Commission okay. at the main office where you're speaking now with the general manager. Okay, Peter. So I just got to wait for this thing to come? Is that it? Um, can I place you on hold? I'm receiving a call from the IRS. Oh, okay. Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. I was receiving a call from the IRS and the general department, but I'm letting them know that I'm on the phone speaking with you at this moment, all right? Okay. They will be sending me a fax. They weren't so looking for me, you know. were they? Pardon? The IRS wasn't looking for me, were they? All right. Your check is 100% stack free. Oh, okay. The IRS is fully responsible for releasing your check. Okay. They just email me and they call me. Uh -huh. They will be faxing me the information to let you know how you will be able to receive your package. So I'm now waiting on the IRS to fax me so I can let you know the position you are in. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, at the moment, I will be updating your portfolio so we can move forward in regarding to having everything done in the meantime. We're waiting on the IRS to let us know okay. what should be done. All right. 
You still with me? Yeah, yeah. You didn't say anything. I was waiting for you to say something. No, okay. All righty. Now, you'll be writing down how much you have won, as you were supposed to, aware of the amount already, and I know you have brought it down, $85,000. $85,000. Okay. Congratulations again, sir, and welcome on board. Oh, boy. <laughs> I need it. All right. Now, on the back of your check, there's some numbers and letters printed. These numbers are classified as your check numbers. Please do not let anyone see these numbers and be notified. They could try to claim a package to avoid double claim. Please keep your information confidential, all right? What about, can I tell my wife? Yes, of course. Okay. But um, as a general manager, what yes. I always tell all my winners is yes. I like when you surprise your spouse. Oh, I'm going to surprise wife, her, all right. Your girlfriend, your family member. Oh, I can't we tell my girlfriend. You. I'll tell my wife, but I'm not going to tell my girlfriend. <laughs> yes, I understand. Okay. But what I'm saying is that um, I like when you guys surprise yourself. Yeah, I should be surprised, yeah. all right. It's, when it's I'm gonna not be here. Pretty... <laughs> <laughs> and where's your wife at this moment? She's home or she's at work? No, she she had to go to the dentist. She uh, she broke her denture and uh, it, it, like a tooth popped right out. So she had to go get it glued back in. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. I'm sorry. It's all right. She'll be all right. <laughs> but I know she will be all right. But, okay. you know, we always want the best for whoever we love, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, you're going to be taking down your check number. Okay. Please do not let anyone see the number. No. Nope. So you could try to claim your package, all right? Okay. My... It's E as an elephant, A. U-S-A. Okay, I got it written down. Numbers and letters are printed as your check number. Okay, that's my check number. Those are those numbers and letters are printed as your check number. Okay. Those letters and numbers is what the bank will scan to see if your check is still valid and cashable. Do you understand? Yes. All right, sir. And do you have any question or concern before I go any further? No. When do I get this, I wonder? Do you know All when right. it's coming? Your delivery, your delivery is scheduled for today. As soon as the IRS send me the fax, it will confirm the time frame and okay. what you need to have in your hands before the delivery service arrives. Okay, uh, sir? Okay, yes. So, yes, the IRS is the one set the delivery date. They're the ones that give us the opportunity to release the package. The, and the, IRS, the, the IRS is usually taking money, not giving it away. I'm, I'm, <laughs> All right, your check is tax free. That's good because you uh, you have no taxes to be paid on your uh, check and no I taxes hope, will be deducted from your check. I you will they, be receiving eighty five thousand dollars, not right. more, not less. I hope but the main uh, reason why the IRS uh, mm -hmm. put a all on the check is because they yes. have no taxes to get. No they have taxes. nothing to get. We they, all know IRS they take money. They 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 will get nothing. Okay. Yes. So they, because they have nothing to get, they put a all on the check to make sure that all the necessary other paperwork are fully updated and assigned. Okay. So that's what they're doing right now. They're reviewing your application. They're looking over everything, and they're going to let us know the position you are in. Okay. Because every winner must have a valid photo ID along with your I or F approval stamp receipt to show that you have taken care of your IRS approval stamp fee. So the IRS, I don't know what that is. They're gonna. I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay. So just bear with me while I wait on the information from the Internal Revenue Service. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to call my friend though. I was supposed to meet my friend Grover down to the park. We we're gonna go to the park today. How long is this gonna take you think, Peter? Um, this won't take us long. Okay. Maybe Grover can wait down there by himself. I guess and. He just sits there and watches the frilly panties run by, and I usually join right. him at lunchtime. Now, I will be asking you three questions. Okay. All three questions must be answered to the best of your knowledge, okay. all right? Okay, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, go ahead. No, all right, sir. Mm -hmm. The first question is, do you have a financial institution to cash your prize into? Do you have a bank? Yes, I use a bank. For a verification evaluation process, what is the name of your financial institution? Kitty Bank. Kitty Bank? Yes. As in T. T. Oh, Kitty Bank. Yes. Hello? 
Peter? Hello? Yes. Oh, hello. I was waiting for the third question. Okay, you say TD Bank. Yes. How do you spell the name of your bank? TB. Oh, TD Bank. Yeah, what do you think I said? <laughs> I think you said Titty Bank. <laughs> titty Bank? Who would use Titty Bank? That's the point. I was wondering, what, where did that bank come from? <laughs> I, I wish they had a Titty Bank. I'd use it. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, I thought you said Titty Bank. Oh, I apologize. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now, are you banking with this bank for five hairs, ten oh. hairs, or fifteen hairs? Oh, more than 15 even. I've been with them for years. More than 15? Yes. Okay. Do you have good credit with your bank or bad credit? Well, it's good credit. My credit score is like 450. Okay. How would you like your delivery to be approved? Would you like it to be public or would you like it to be private? I don't know what that means. What's public? I don't, I don't know. Public means you could be live on TV, live on the radio. Oh, I don't want to be live on TV. So, Nobody wants to see an old man getting a check on TV. <laughs> yes, people do. But to be private is the best. Yes. To be confidential. No one will know. Not I even the neighbor next door. I, I, don't, I don't want Grover to know about it. That's for sure. He'll be coming here trying to scam me out of it. <laughs> Yes. All right, let me state it private. Okay, private, yes. Okay, next question is, do you have your own transportation or do you own your own home? I do have my own home. And I have transportation, but my wife took the car to the dentist to get that tooth glued back in. Okay, I do understand. Yes. Now, for verification evaluation process, could you please spell your name correctly on record, slowly? B-E-R-T-A-N. Bertan. B-E-R-T-A-N. Right, Bertan. Last name is Ernie. E-R-N-I-E. Bertan Ernie. You, can you repeat the correct spelling of your last name we have on record? I just spelled it. E-R-N-I-E. Hello, still with me? Yes, where'd you go, Peter? I'm sorry, sir. I, I was on... getting an incoming call. I was getting an incoming call, so the call was going in and out. Okay. It has been pretty busy from I this bet. morning. Yes, okay. It's, it's a pretty busy day. Oh. So I do apologize. I'm glad I'm now, retired, repeat... so I don't have to worry about working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Now, um, can you repeat the correct spelling of your last name, sir? E R N I E. E R N I E. Yes, yes, it's five letters. It's not hard. Can you please verify your address on record? And for verification evaluation process, what city and state were you born? Moravia, New York. For verification evaluation process, what is your date of birth? 3 16 1950. Next question on your portfolio, please verify your mother's maiden name on record. My mother's maiden name? That's correct. Presley. P-R-E-S-L-E-Y. P-R-E-S-L-E-Y. Alice Presley. P-R-E-S-L-E-Y. Yes. Alice? Alice, yes. For a verification evaluation process, please be advised all calls are recorded for quality and insurance purpose by the Better Business Bureau to protect the interests of the government and the interests of all winners. Any information you provided is just for verification process. Your information will not be kept in our database system. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Now, please verify the full nine digits of your Social Security. 0861014632. One four six three. Yes. Zero eight six. Yes. Ten fourteen sixty three. Yes. Now, hmm. once I submit your information, I will have to ask you again because it won't be coming up back in the system. So you'll have to provide it once more. So I'm gonna submit it now. Okay, submit it. Yes. Okay. All right. All righty. Now, please verify your social once more. 
0861014463. Okay. Now, on what day do you receive Social Security? Uh, the third Wednesday. And how much do you receive from SSI or SSA departments? 1300 Now, all these questions are from the public record. These are a verification, evaluation, and identity verification process and okay. questionnaires. Yes. Yes, sir. 